Now, with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate, here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, here's some good news for you, and we haven't had much of that as of late. Looks like the rain has finally shut off at least for the next couple of hours around here. And by couple of hours, I mean maybe an entire day finally. We may enjoy a dry day this week. Here's a look at your headlines. Yeah, I'm thinking Saturday is going to turn out fairly nice for us. Now, it may not be bright and perfectly sunny, but it's going to be dry at least. It looks like because storms are in the forecast through All-Star Week. We're talking about Sunday, Monday, and on Tuesday as well. And not only could we be seeing storms, but here as of late, we haven't had much in the way of severe weather. We may even have some stronger storms to contend with as we get into to our, well, early next week, really. All right, here's a look at your Quaker State 400. If you're heading down to Sparta, great race weather tomorrow. How about temperatures in the low to mid 80s? And again, a cloudy start, I think, in a part of the day tomorrow may actually be cloudy. The first half of the day, it may take us a while to burn out of the clouds, but not bad at all for racing. And then, hey, here's your all star weekend forecast. After the concert tomorrow, as you get into Sunday and you start having more of those outdoor events, the celebrity softball event, the home run derby, also the all star game. Itself on Tuesday. Showers and storms are likely to have an impact. And again, wet weather will probably cause us some delays for those outdoor events as we get into All Star Week itself, again, Monday and Tuesday. Here's radar. Quiet outside tonight, finally. That's going to need a break here over the next couple of days. Here's a live look from high atop the Radisson as we look back across the Ohio River. Looking downtown Cincinnati, right there's Great American Ballpark. Temperatures right now in the mid 60s. We're at 66 degrees. I want you to pay attention to this number. And the dew point because whenever those two are pretty close together, and look at our winds here on the calm side, I do think there may be a little bit in the way of patchy, dense fog first thing in the morning, and that will probably transition to kind of some low clouds and then take us a while to burn out that cloud cover after that. So, temperatures across the board, most areas between 65 and 70. We won't fall too much further overnight tonight. This stationary front has been quite active. That's been the culprit for all the rain this week. Finally, looking out to our west tonight, there's no new development of shower and thunderstorm activity. That's why we're going to enjoy a dry Saturday. Here's a look at future cast. Here's first thing in the morning. Notice this milky gray across the area. That's kind of the low cloud cover. And notice, you know, we're in that time of the year where the sun should be strong enough to be able to break that cloud cover apart fairly quickly. The problem is we've had so much rain around here as of late. There's so much moisture in the air. That cloud cover is going to be fairly dense in the morning. I do think finally by afternoon we see some sunshine. But even at that point, high clouds will be spilling in. But I don't think anyone cares about the cloud cover as long as it's dry tomorrow, and that's the way it's looking. Won't last long, though. Wet weather's back in here on Sunday for us. Showers and storms. We could see a couple of rounds of storms on Sunday. And then basically, you'll see here as we get into Monday as well, we keep the threat for showers and storms in the forecast. So here's a look at tonight. The rain's over with now. It's going to be drier the rest of the night. Temperatures will hover about 65, 66 overnight. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, a nice summer day. Again, it may take us a while to get to that nice summer day in the mid 80s because of the clouds the first half of the morning. But by lunchtime, early afternoon, we certainly should be seeing some peaks at the sun. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. There you have it showers and storms Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And the reason why we may see some stronger storms as we get to the second half of the weekend and next week, temperatures will be a little bit warmer. But all in all, Mike and Sheree, there may be a couple of dry days in there, but this pattern seems to go for at least the next two weeks. Could take us out of the end of the month.